hey guys what's up everyone welcome or welcome back again to the channel and we are picking up from where we left off in the last tutorial where we discussed in depth about the principles of safety play when it comes to this tree ring this is an advanced video for advanced professional players or players who aspire to learn the game at a more in-depth level now here I'm showing you a game situation where this comes up quite a bit and this is in fact the demonstration of the earlier video the excerpt that you saw coming from the Niels Fyan channel now notice how I'm visualizing the part because I already have the information that if I hit this object ball at a half ball hit then it has the tendency to go towards the corner let's take a moment once again to have a look at what Niels Fyan was discussing in this video feet ball in hand because it's so tough to hit so let's try this one very tough it's gonna go four rails let's see what we can do be careful that you don't hit the coin with your shirt or arm That's it, I think sixth or seventh try. Now that is an absolutely beautiful shot. And so when I first watched that video, in fact, I watched that video about three times and that is why I was inspired to try to figure out what is it that Neil Spine was doing. Now he did demonstrate that this was a field type shot, but I did in fact went on the table to try to develop a sense of how much of the object ball was he hitting. And notice there that in my very first attempt, I got pretty close to hooking him behind or hooking the cue ball behind the eight here. And I'm not shooting from the same position. Now, guys, if you think this video is a beautiful one, or oh, you want to check out part three, because part three, we're going to be looking at when the cue ball is not in a direct line. And so I'm going to be teaching you how much spin to use, how much of the ball hit fraction to use, in order to execute the shot this safety can be executed from anywhere near the table and once you have it locked down you will get consistent results like what you see there being demonstrated on screen beautiful beautiful execution there again that particular shot was a half ball hit on the object ball but i applied a here of outside spin which in this case is left spin for it to come inside the cushion and float behind the eight here so definitely guys stay tuned ensure that you are in fact subscribed so you can know when that next video is released now here's an extreme situation where again as i said it's not a high percentage safety but in our actual game situation where there are other obstacle balls on the table once you can find the part of the cue ball to head behind the eight you will find that you get yourself a bit lucky now, a lot of persons, when they see a pro player execute these types of shots, they tend to always attribute the fact that the pro player is lucky. But when I tell you that these pro players, they know exactly what they're doing. They know how much of the object ball to hit and they know if they need spin. Now, this is a very touchy and difficult shot. And for two reasons, this is why. This particular shot requires an excessive amount of side spin it requires a precise hit on the object ball because once you're applying spin to the cue ball if you're aiming at or you're supposed to aim at a half ball hit to compensate for the swerve because of the spin you have to aim at a quarter ball hit so notice they have adjusted slightly and once you've adjusted slightly you will get the trajectory of the cue ball correct but then again once you apply spin to the cue ball it then tends to transfer the opposite spin to the object ball and so the speed is going to allow the cue ball to head into the correct path but it's going to allow the object ball to escape so when you're trying to play these types of safeties guys bear in mind that you have to be dialed down on the um you have to be so focused and you have to be so committed 
towards the cue ball going behind the hook. Now in that particular uh, replay there, you'll see where the cue ball actually was hit somewhat to perfection, but the object ball escaped and so I leaked the shot. So this is a high percentage, this is a low percentage safety play, but if you have a natural feel and sense for it, you will get very, very good results. Now again, here, just like in this demonstration, the cue ball head right behind it, but too much speed on that one ball and it leaked. Now, yes, the one ball leaked, but as I said, in a game situation, that one ball could have actually hit into an obstacle ball and you could really, really grapple your opponent into submission here. Now, I do hope that you enjoy this particular video guys do check out part three it's going to be a beautiful one and let us bring this video to the end with this beautiful three real safety played by joshua filler 11 years ago come on joshua filler what a safety shot that is Jake. would you look at that amazing shot see you guys in the next tutorial until take care Bye. i love his interviews they're always genuine and I'll tell you, if he doesn't like it, I think the bank is really on his mind here. But. Well, how'd you like that one? Pool, the dynamic is it's just so immense. It's so incredible how well under the pressure these players pull these shots.